Star Wars 7x7 episode 2780. So earlier this week I mentioned that Wednesday was going to be an enormous day <laughs> because of all the things happening in it and there was even one thing I missed. So I wanted to wrap up all the news situations for you with this one last episode about all that stuff. Punch it! Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, first let's talk about the Book of Boba Fett. And specifically, something that Ming-Na Wen, who plays Fennec Shan, tweeted about whether there would be a Season 2 at this point. There has not been a Season 2 of the Book of Boba Fett announced. And her tweet basically said, yeah, when I called it Season 1, what else was I supposed to call it? Which is a perfectly valid point for sure. But she made a point of saying that she didn't necessarily know whether there was going to be a season two and that she has her fingers crossed for it so let's just start there and yeah totally right totally agree with her and anybody jumping to conclusions based on her calling it season one well yeah that's jumping to conclusions for sure so for a little historical context at the end of Mandalorian season one like within you know, hours basically they announced that there would be a season two and within hours of <laughs> the end of season two of the Mandalorian they announced that there would be a season three so basically December 2019 they said they would do season two December of 2020 they said they would do season three December 2021 well they <laughs> hadn't gotten around to doing season three's filming well I mean they were in progress right it had been shooting since September or October so yeah you get the idea basically <laughs> what it comes down to is that more or less soon after the end of a season of the Mandalorian they announced they would do another one they haven't done that yet with the book of Boba Fett it's been over for three days now and we don't have a season two announcement so I don't know quite what to read into that but they've certainly sort of implied at least with the ending that there's a possibility and somewhere to go with season two we'll pursue that in a few days but for the time being no news is just no news. And, you know, I had a moment where I was like, well, what does it look like in terms of Obi-Wan Kenobi? Because Obi-Wan Kenobi is supposed to be a limited series. And yet, when you actually look at the poster for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, the one that they just released on Wednesday as their teaser thing, it just says original series debuting May 25th. And that's the exact same thing that the Book of Boba Fett poster said, original series debuting. And it's the same thing that the Mandalorian poster says, original series. They didn't put the limited moniker on the Obi-Wan one, which gave me a moment to think like, oh, maybe there won't be just one season of it. Maybe there could be more. I don't know if that's the case and I wouldn't necessarily jump to that conclusion anyway, but essentially what I'm saying is the Obi-Wan posters information is inconclusive for the purposes of our discussion. So we're just going to have to sit and wonder. And if you dug the Book of Boba Fett season one, then let your voice be heard online. So that way there can be some, you know, juice and energy behind the possibility of a season two. Meanwhile, we covered all the Kenobi news that's fit to print. And I'm recording this on Friday evening. And if there had been some, you know, major release or rumor or other sort of thing happening that would be picked up in the Hollywood trades. It probably would have been published by the time that I'm recording this. So I think we're going to stand pat with where we are with Kenobi based on what I did a day or so ago. And so the other thing that was happening on Wednesday that I knew about <laughs> was the Nintendo Direct event. And we talked about that previously in the episode that it was going to happen and that it was going to be a live stream presentation that talked about releases in the first half of 2022. And at that time, I had said that, well, gee, Star Wars Hunters seems to be a thing that's supposed to be happening, and so we might hear about that. Surprise, surprise, we didn't. <laughs> Star Wars Hunters was not a part of the Nintendo Direct. So that makes me think that maybe Hunters isn't coming out until the second half of 2022 after all. And it's probably not a coincidence that the middle grade novel that's supposed to be a tie into Star Wars Hunters, which is called Battle for the Arena, and it is by Mark Oshiro. That book was supposed to come out earlier in 2022, and now it is showing as coming out on November 1st of 2022. So yeah, again, probably not a coincidence. 
But if you like Star Wars video games and you like the Nintendo Switch, well, you're not going to have to wait until the back half of the year for new Star Wars content. The long-delayed LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is coming out on April 5th to not just the Nintendo Switch, but to you know, every other platform. And there's also going to be a version of The Force Unleashed, a classic Legends Star Wars video game coming to the Nintendo Switch on April 20th. So that covers the video game situation. The other thing that also happened on Wednesday that I you know, did not know about until after the fact, and there isn't really any new news from a storytelling perspective, is Hasbro had their Fan First Wednesday event and was focused on Star Wars releases. I think probably for our purposes, the only particularly notable thing is that they are making a giant Jabba's throne room set that's based on the Book of Boba Fett that also comes with the version of Bib Fortuna that Boba if that's summarily shot. And so if anything augurs for the possibility of a season two of the Book of Boba Fett, I might keep an eye on what happens with the pre-sales and the orders for that particular set, because if that goes like hotcakes, that might let the powers that be know that there's some interest in this moving forward. So yeah, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, the product descriptions, as we've talked about on the show, sometimes give us little indicators of things, but they haven't really released anything that is worth paying attention to for future storytelling and so that's why we're not going to dig into that any more than I just did. <laughs> there you go. That wraps up all the news and announcements that were happening this past week related to Star Wars and storytelling and that is going to do it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited. Other respective trademark and copyright holders may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.